Okay, so we have these different problems here, and what do they all have in common? Well, here we have 3 to the 0, this one is x to the 0, this one is y minus 2, that whole expression to the 0 power, and then I have x squared, uh, y, negative 4, z, all that to the 0 power. So the common thing, obviously, is that we're uh, taking all these things to the 0 power, and we want to answer the question, what happens when you take anything to the 0 power? This is something uh, that all math students need to know. The answer is super easy. A matter of fact, if you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. But uh, this is going to be a quick video, and we're going to answer the um, what exactly what happens when you take anything to the zero power here in just one second but uh, first let me quickly introduce myself my name is John I'm the founder of tablet class math I'm also a middle and high school math teacher I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video but if you're struggling with mathematics I can help you out I really teach math in a way that is not like a textbook I really explain things in super clear and understandable way very thoroughly so anyone and everyone can be successful in mathematics so if you're at the middle school high school or college level definitely check out my math help program if you're preparing for any sort of test that has a math section on it, an example would be like the GED or SAT. I have a huge uh, uh, catalog of test prep uh, math courses that you can check out. If you homeschool, absolutely check out my homeschool math courses. And if you need some uh, math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. Okay, so let's answer the question and uh, let's go down here. And answer the question right now. We have 3 to the 0, x to the 0, y minus 2 to the 0, and then we have this expression to the 0 power. All of these are equal to, oh, drum roll please, uh, 1. Okay? Anything to the 0 power is going to be equal to 1. You never want to forget that because, you know, right here, this might be um, something that a lot of students might say 3 to the 0 power. Uh, people have a tendency to put that down as 0. So all of the answers here is uh, one, it's an easy. Uh, it's also easy to forget this and make a mistake. You gotta remember that anything to the zero power is one and the property uh, looks like this. A to the zero power is equal to one. And this is one of the properties of powers and exponents that you need to know, okay? So it doesn't make a difference if it's a variable or some sort of other expression. If you have a base and it's uh, whatever that base might be, and you're taking that to the zero power, the answer is going to be one. So uh, let me go ahead and just write down here the other things that you need to know. I have additional videos on this, but uh, the first, uh, the property that we looked at here is a to the zero power is equal to one, but that's not the only property you need to know when you're dealing with powers and exponents. You need to know uh, these here, a to the n times a to the m. What happens when you multiply powers? What happens when you divide powers, you need to know that. Uh, what happens when you're taking a power to a power, and what happens when you have a negative exponent? So I cover this uh, in multiple different YouTube videos on uh, properties of powers and exponents, and of course I teach this super thoroughly in all of my algebra courses, but uh, this particular video we just cover this, and uh, hopefully you're like, okay, I get that. I'll never forget that. Just remember, a to the zero power is not zero. Okay, a lot of students will say, oh, I remember the answer. It's zero. No, it's one. Okay. All right. So hopefully, you know, that uh, will sink in and you'll retain that information. The way to retain information in mathematics is to take great math notes. So, uh, even though if you don't have uh, notes right now and you need something to study from, you can certainly use my math notes, but if you improve your note taking, you're gonna improve everything in mathematics, most uh, especially your retention, okay? And another way to improve your retention is to practice. So, you know, it's not enough just to watch me do these problems. If you don't follow through by practicing and doing problems on your own, it, this stuff's not gonna sink in. So something like this, although it's super easy, it's also super easy to forget and super easy to make mistakes with. So uh, follow through, practice, and that's the way you're going to get better in mathematics. But uh, if this little video helped you out in some small way, go ahead and consider helping me out in a huge way by smashing that like button and uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I have about a thousand plus uh, videos, basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So please take advantage of my content. And I, uh, uh, again, 
when it comes to my math help program, I have a ton of people that are really benefited from it. So whether you're taking a math course, whether you're preparing for some sort of test or homeschooling, I could definitely help you out. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.